What's up? My name is Eric Butler. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back. And from TMZ Sports, John Morant apologizes for gun video, vows to seek help. So he has capitulated. He apologized. Of course, it's never going to be enough, right? Like you can apologize just like Kyrie Irving did. And they're going to say, quite literally, that's not enough. Do more. So who knows what they're going to ask of him, but they suspended him from the Memphis Grizzlies, which is in Tennessee. And I don't know what their gun laws are like, but I highly doubt he was flashing an illegal gun. But the NBA, of course, is incredibly soft. They're incredibly woke. And they are part of the establishment, right? They bow down to China at every single opportunity. So it's, it, Steve Kerr, notoriously from the Warriors, is this big anti-gun advocate. So it's very scary to have this young man with a gun. Now, obviously what he did was a silly thing, but we are free to be silly. We are free to do stupid things, and you learn from those mistakes. But him apologizing, unfortunately, I don't believe is actually going to help his cause because now they smell blood in the water, and they're only going to ask for more. They say, John Morant is breaking his silence on the video, taking full responsibility and apologizing to his family, fans, the Grizzlies, and the city of Memphis for his actions in a statement released minutes ago. Morant, who was suspended at least two games, at least two games. I like how they, they put it there like, yeah, we might do more. It just depends on how we feel in a couple days. So just, you know, jump through these hoops and we might let you back on the team. Meanwhile, he's the one making them all the money. He's the star player. He's the one slam dunking on people. He's the one flying through the air doing things that nobody else can do. But they're going to tell him that he can't play because he had a gun on Instagram. It's so super scary. Anyhow, Morant says he will, quote, take some time away to get help and work on learning better methods of dealing with stress and my overall well-being. So I I'm sorry, I did, a I did a wrong thing. I'm going to go get help. Every single thing now that you do, you need to go seek help for. You can't just say, yo, my bad, I learned from it, I'm going to improve. It has to, oh, I got I'm going to go seek help. My well-being, bro, you're what, what are you talking about well-being? He's one of the premier athletes in the world. He's fine. He's like 20 years old. He could fly through the air, basically. He's not, he's, he's going to be fine. He should just say, yo, my bad. I shouldn't have done that. But it doesn't matter because when a rapper does it, they get paid. So I get it. He's not a rapper, so it's a different thing. But the NBA, is absol they're absolute cowards, and they fine people when you, you know, if you make a joke, if you say pause or no homo or whatever, then you get fined. This happens left and right. It's absolutely disgusting. And for him to capitulate, it does make sense because he's super young. He's not really, he's not based as the kids say he's not old enough to see what's actually happening he just knows that he's getting millions of dollars to dunk a basketball the Grizzlies announced that Ja will be away from the team for at least the next two games yeah of course at least the next two games because we reserve the right to extend that if you don't obey hard enough if you don't apologize hard enough if you don't make a five hundred thousand dollar donation to some gun grabbing organization then we're gonna you know tell you that you can't come back to the team even though you are the reason why we are profitable at this particular moment. He is the face of the Memphis Grizzlies. He is the superstar. No doubt about that. John Morant appeared to brandish a gun while filming a selfie video on social media late Friday night. And now the NBA says it's investigating it all. Oh, yeah. And it, what a waste of time and money in investigation. This is all so silly. It's all so silly. What are you and what are you going to find? So after he served his two games, they're going to say, well, we found that uh, he brandished a gun in a selfie video. And like, what is what more is there to it? You're putting way too much on this because, of course, the establishment doesn't want for you to have a gun and they don't want a, a guy who's popular with young kids to have a gun because that would be bad. Now, they do want oh, a weird old man who thinks he's a woman to be popular with kids. That's just fine. The two-time All-Star went live on his Instagram page following the Memphis Grizzlies loss to the Denver Nuggets, showing him while out at what seemed to be a strip club. Morant shirtless was dancing around rapping to NBA young boys bring him out. Suddenly, he flashed what appeared to be a... In the footage, you can... he's only 23 years old. In the footage, you can see the 23-year-old brought the object near his face for a brief moment before pulling it away. <laughs> okay, super, super scary stuff, right? It's not clear if the gun was real or not. An NBA spokesperson said in a statement Saturday morning, we are aware of social media posts involving John Morant and we are investigating. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Morant was recently accused of flashing a gun at a teenager following an altercation the two had at his home in Tennessee over the summer. Cops investigated the, claim in a, in the claims and officials ultimately declined 
<laughs> prosecution in the case, citing a lack of evidence. So they couldn't prove that he flashed a weapon at a kid at his Tennessee home, but now they're invest. See, this is what happens. As soon as you do one thing, now they're on you like white on rice. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he got out of line. He got out of line. And this isn't even really that far out of line. He's not saying anything. He's not saying anything that really goes against the establishment. It's just that they are, you know, super critical about the about the guns and stuff. And you just that's just not okay to have, even though he's in Tennessee. Again, I don't know. I could Google or duck duck go. I could research their gun laws, but I highly doubt they're the super it's not California. It's not New York. I can almost bet that. Morant was also recently seen doing a finger gun celebration. Oh, my word. He did a finger gun. So this is almost worse than the um, than the, you know, the three point symbol becoming uh, the WP symbol. A, a finger. Gu uh, give me a break, bro. They are grasping at straws. Wh why are you? Why are you attacking this guy? He's black. I'm under the impression that black people can really do no wrong. But somehow, some way he has. The former Murray State racer has become an NBA star since he was drafted in 2019. Yeah, absolutely. And this also reminds me, maybe I'll do a separate video about it, but apparently the Toronto Raptors had to apologize because they did a video celebrating Women's Month or something and said that women are the only ones that give birth. So that's not okay. They had to apologize. John Morant does something silly on Instagram. He has to apologize because like I always say, they don't want to con actually control your actions. They love the crime. They love the drug use, prostitution. They love all that. They only want to make sure that they can, that they can control your thoughts. And it happens with every single thing we see these days. So thank you for watching. Please like comment, share, and of course, subscribe.